thanks for coming out today. I hope you had a fun, relaxing day. I'm gonna look at my phone so I don't go too far off, off the reservation here. Uh, my name's Luke and I was invited to come and speak briefly to you all to tell you about my family's experience with Pathway. Uh, my wife and I have always considered adopting because of our Christian values, which lead us to believe in the inherent value of human life. And there's no one more deserving of a loving home than a child. The only good thing that came out of COVID uh, is that a lot of our pathway training requirements became virtual. So at the recommendation of our friends <laughs> who were also with pathway, we signed up and got started. We sat in our living room getting our certifications while our two young kids ran and crawled around the house. And one thing my wife and I strongly agree on is opening our family to children in need. As a police officer, I see a lot of terrible situations that kids grow up in, uh, most of which stem from drug use. A few months after we finished our training, we received a call from our pathway worker regarding a baby who was being released from the NICU. My wife quickly accepted, and that day I left work early uh, to drive down with her and meet two-month-old, four-pound baby Nathaniel Douglas, which I think is still the most presidential sounding name I've ever, <laughs> ever seen in the Pathway monthly newsletter. <laughs> it was a strange feeling walking out of the hospital the next day with somebody else's baby. We came to discover Nathaniel's story is one all too common. A Cleveland mom so caught up in her drug addiction that it trumps everything else in her life. And admittedly, there were some frustrating times working with the Children Family Services bureaucracy, but our pathway workers were always very responsive, receptive to our concerns, and worked to remedy the issues that we ran into, and gave pertinent advice as well. Uh, we went over, we went to over 200 different appointments for Nathaniel in the first year that we had him. This is OT, PT, speech, eating, uh, you name it. Um, at, at one point, he was finally diagnosed with cerebral palsy, uh, which means mental and physical limitations for him. Uh, we formed a bond with his mom during our supervised, or her supervised visits with him, who proudly bragged to the people at the Cleveland Community Center that her son was living with the Popo. <laughs> <laughs> she was very proud of it. I, I still have no idea how she found it. <laughs> Further down the road, uh, Nathaniel's mom would even stand up in court and tell the judge that she wanted us to raise Nathaniel. So thanks in part to Pathway, my family recently just got a little bigger. This summer we officially adopted Nathaniel, who's two and a half. Our Pathway workers kindly joined at our court date to celebrate this day. I know people always say that their kids are a blessing, but Nathaniel really is. I don't know what other kid rolls over when he's abruptly woken up from a nap with a huge smile on his face. Um, I've had the opportunity to be part of some really cool arrests and cases in my role as the Popo, but I know without a doubt at the end of my life, our decision to foster and adopt Nathaniel will be at or near the top of the list of the greatest things that I have ever been a part of. Um, it's by no means a small commitment, but nothing truly worthwhile is. So I think that all of you who are here could probably say the same that you're giving to something that really matters that will truly change lives. So thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much for helping helping the family and taking away your life and opening your heart. It's amazing, you know, what can happen when people do that. And thank you to the Pathway folks that help. You know, Luke and his family, you know, through all this journey. Again, amazing what can happen when you open your hearts and work towards a good cause and saving saving all of these kids and helping them have a good life.